So today we're going to talk about regression analysis and data visualization. Um, we will first cover the basics of running a linear regression in R. Um, then we'll continue with uh, model testing and model diagnostics. Um, we'll then talk about some further regression methods, uh, specifically from microeconometrics like panel data or instrumental variables. And finally, uh, we'll talk about data visualization in R. So the basic linear regression in R is done by using the LM function and LM stands for linear model. And LM by default just gives you the coefficient estimates. However, if you save the output from the function, you can get a lot more information about your regression uh, by using, for example, the summary function on that object. So the basic syntax is you <coughs> call the LM function, you specify the dependent variable Y, till them and then you list all the explanatory variables comma and then you you specify the data set that contains all of these um, variables both dependent and independent variables uh, you then save this as a um, as an object which then contains all the output from that regression so let's look at an example um, we used the college data set that we have used earlier in this class and we would like to explain the tuition cost um, by specifying a simple model that just says, uh, is, the, is the college a private college or, or a public college? And what is the share of faculty that has a PhD? If you just run this um, regression, we will get a um, intercept. We will get uh, the coefficient for a private college. and since private is a factor variable, it is just either yes or no, um, it will already um, specify a reference group for us. So here, the intercept is basically the value for um, a public university with, of course, the number of PhDs. So your um, nutrition cost will not be negative for even for a public university. And then private yes means that this value here, um, 5,000, uh, roughly 700, is the difference that you have to pay if you're attending a private college instead. And the PhD is just the value of having 1% extra um, faculty with a PhD uh, will cost you $118 extra. Um, you can then save this uh, regression output as a um, object. Here I call it tuition linrex. And then if we use the summary function on this object, we get a lot more information here. So we get, again, the coefficients here, we get the standard errors, we get T statistics, uh, with, uh, P values. And you cannot see this here, but this plot would also, uh, this um, table here would also include, for example, the R squared um, or the F statistics of the entire model. Uh, a way of getting nicer uh, formatted regression output is by using tidy from the broom package and tidy basically just collapses the information into a nicer uh, formatted table and you can see again here we have the estimate the standard errors and p-values all in a somehow much nicer formatted um, table if you want to have it even nicer but uh, for to, for example, include it in a, in a paper, um, you can use the Stargazer package. And what Stargazer does is it takes any um, regression output or even it, it also accepts normal data frames. And then it automatically generates a nicely formatted table for you that contains all the information in the right format. So if you give it a um, output from a linear regression, it will know that it has to display this in the standard format um, in which you see uh, regressions displayed in papers. And then you can also say that you would like to have this as a latex table. So the output will be in a latex format and you can either, for example, copy paste it into your paper or you can um, directly display it in the in our markdown file. Uh, if you're used to, for example, outrack in Stata, 
um, stargazer is basically the closest uh, you will get to outtrack from Stata. And if you just take the same example that we had before, and using stargazer, we will get this table here. You can see that it already contains the, the coefficients um, with the standard errors right uh, beneath. It contains a lot of different um, summary statistics. And Stargazer has a lot of different options. You can, for example, say that you only want to display some of the um, explanatory variables. You can say you want to uh, get rid of some of the summary statistics. Uh, however, whatever you want, you can add additional indicators for if you include fixed effects, for example. Um, it is really all the, um, all the flexibility that you need to format your um, table in a way that you want to publish it. If you want to include interaction terms, um, you can of course always do that by um, including, uh, generating extra variables, including them into your um, regression. However, the proper way of doing it is by using um, this I function, uh, in which inside you just say, you, you call the, the mathematical expression, for example, if you'd like to include experience squared, you do this inside this I function. If you just do it without, then it, it will not work. Um, if you specify interaction terms, you can just multiply them uh, inside the, the formula. Um, here we have a different example that includes these uh, interaction terms. And here you can see we have um, experience squared included here. And again, we just display all of this using the, the tidy function. This regression explains the wage depending on schooling, um, sex, experience squared, and an interaction of schooling and the gender of the observation. If you have um, factor variables, often you would like to change the, the reference group. So before in the example, we saw that um, we had private, uh, the reference group was a public university, in which in this case, it makes sense because a, private, a public university is probably cheaper than a private one. So the, the coefficient for private will just be the difference that you have to pay if you're attending a private college. However, in other examples, you might want to have a different um, reference group. So for example, if you want to have private as a reference group, you would re-level um, your factor. Um, and you would use the, you do this, say, uh, calling the re-level function, and then just say which one is your reference group. So in our college example, we can say that private should be a reference group and then the, the, the coefficient will be the tuition cost for a private college and the coefficient for um, private will be then private no which means that the difference uh, if you're attending a public college so this coefficient will then be negative um, and here you can see we uh, changed the uh, reference group for um, sex in the wages data set to male and then in the regression sex will be female which means that the intercept is calculated the intercept is the value for a male observation and then female is just a difference because this is a logical factor variable so it's just two levels um, other important or useful um, functions that you can or that you can call on your regression output is residuals and fitted values. Uh, residuals, you just call residuals on your regression output. You often need this, for example, if you would like to test um, for heteroskedasticity um, or other correlation in the errors. Or um, you can also get the fitted values, just call fitted on your um, output object. And this is, for example, useful if you want to plot a regression line. Um, then you plot the data and afterwards you add a line that contains the fitted values from your regression. 